I want to go over how I've um, programmed two flight modes in my DX9 for the ELF, the discus launch glider. It's a um, rudder elevator only um, DLG. The two flight modes that I've set up are what I'm calling a launch mode and a thermal mode. Um, and normally, at least I haven't seen it yet, um, I did it at first and I think most people are um, trimming a compromise. So <clears throat> you're not getting as flat a glide. In other words, you don't trim it up as much to where it's that long flat glide because it'll balloon on launch. So having two flight modes takes care of that. So let's go over how I program the DX9. I'll do it step by step and show on the tail feathers of the model the two flight modes. Go into system setup. Cursor down to flight mode setup. Come to here. Highlight that. Press the bind button. It's a momentary switch. It'll select it. Come out of flight mode setup. Cursor down to trim setup. And the default mode is common. And this is just modal. So in common, when you make a trim change, you would it would adjust the trim in every flight mode. We want to separate ailerons, which in my case I'm flying on one stick, aileron elevator. So that's my rudder. So separate your rudder and your elevator so you can have two different trim settings in your two flight modes. Done in system setup. Here is something that you must do. Go into your dual rate and expose. Highlight this. Select your flight mode button, which is the bind button, and this threw me for a moment. When I did that, it threw my exponential settings into flight mode two. Flight mode two. They were over here. So I was like, oh, okay. So what you want to do is have the same exponential flight mode one. in both flight modes. Do the same for elevator. So you can see I have 60% exabo in my elevator, flight mode both two. flight modes. Flight mode one. This is a must do. If you make a correction on the climb out when you're in your launch mode, you don't want to be in for any surprises. Have it respond wildly faster without your expo um, that you would have in your um, first mode. So make sure you go in. Um, set it up and then put your exponential in both flight modes. Same. Then to get your two flight modes. Now at this point, if you're doing like I was doing, you were flying with a compromised trim setting. Like I said before, you don't have a flat glide, but you have a glide that's not going to balloon on a launch and you're flying with holding back elevator so it thermals nicely go back up and fly it again trim it in flight mode one not pushing a button down get your nice flat thermal setting so this is where it trimmed for me my uh rudder elevator and then flight mode two the number you change Flight from this one. setting is the amount that it's going to kick the control surface in your launch mode. 
What I'm getting at is when you first come to your trim settings in your launch mode, flight mode two, they're going to be at zero. The amount you want to kick your surfaces is going to come flight from the thermal trim settings. So I would recommend to find that to put 10 or 20 clicks at a time and launch it. Watch what it does. And then Flight mode two. for me, this is where I ended up. So that's how much I'm kicking my rudder Flight mode from one. my thermal setting. And this is how much I'm clicking Flight my mode elevator two. from my thermal setting. For the elevator, I have a pencil mark which is referencing where it trimmed out in the thermal mode. Here's how much um, down elevator for my center of gravity, I guess, where it's set and the weight of my model with a little bigger um, battery and servos with that fiberglass cow I made. Here's how much down elevator I have set for my launch mode. Looking right down the line at my rudder, here's how much I have in the rudder for my launch mode. Flight mode two. So for sure, this is the type of thing where you want to go out and fly it. might vary from model to model. My advice would be to definitely go out and try it. Work your way up on it. One other thing I'm doing is, so I'm using this spine button to change my flight modes. Flight mode two, flight mode one. And I'm timing my flights and have my timer set up on my throttle stick. So I have it to where it won't go on till 90% and up. So that way I can hold this in my hand, get the throttle stick up to here, timer's not on yet. Flight go into my flight mode. When I go to launch, I Push that up, continue holding the flight mode button till it's about ready to go over the top, release it, push it over the top and fly. I'll show you how I program my timer to do that. You can probably figure it out, but I'll show you anyway since I'm making this video. Go to timer, change this to stopwatch, I think it defaults at throttle stick. Go to here, I think that default at 25, take that up to 90. And then for the one time I have it on inhibit. And then start your timer, stop your timer, and then you have to hit the clear button to clear it. So you won't lose your time. You get to see what you got. So that's all I had to do to get these flight modes. Um, I got to say this, I think it's pretty exciting that you can set it up this way and it feels more like a higher performance model to me, um, as far as how the launches are going, the height I'm getting, um, you know, without having, um, ailerons and a more, more complex, expensive model. I'm not there yet on my launches, I'm going to keep practicing, but it seems like it has the ability now to really get some, get after it on the launches. So that's pretty exciting to me. I'll continue with uh, flying the model, practicing, and uh, get some nice weather soon up here in the North Country, and maybe we'll catch some thermals with this setup.